Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes. Um, today I just want to take you through on Photoshop on how to design a naming ceremony flyer. And I just want to uh, say this about on Monday. I supposed to give you a video, but due to technical problems and self problems over here, I couldn't give you. Yes. So today video will be the Monday video and um, on Friday I'll give you a video and a Sunday or just within the week I'll be able to give you three videos of this particular week but Monday video is today's video okay yes so let's just go into Photoshop and I'll show you and I've already have some naming ceremony flyer just like this and I just want us to use this same thing to do the same thing and you understand and this thing I just want you to understand how to do this particular shape and this particular shape and then uh, just arrangement and we we'll see how we can get it done okay so first of all what we need to do is to open a new document over here and uh, I just want to use uh, this custom uh, custom size which is 80 10 by 80 uh, 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 10 by 80 by uh, uh, 10 by 80 that will be a square yes and this one I'll just call it naming ceremony sorry naming ceremony flyer okay then the next thing I have to do is to create clip like this okay so the first thing I have to do is that I just want us to do the thing step by step this one I'll just import in the picture so let me, let me just close it up and I'll just go to my file come to place a link and then I'll look for the picture over here just like this and then I'll just transform it just like this okay then I'll have it like this you get that so the next thing I have to do is that you can when you watch uh, on the picture you see that this one is bled is bled around the image so I just want us to blend so what I need to do is to duplicate the image then I'll close up this one and use this one so I'll come over here and just pick Red, uh, laser tool over here then what I need to do is to just select just around the image like this okay yes you get that so the next thing I have to do is to come to image then I'll come over to okay let me go, sorry I'll go to select then I'll come to invest so investing it will select only the background only the background right here and leave the image over there look at that so the next thing i have to do is to come to filter then i'll go to blur then i'll come to gas and blur you see how so it's going to uh, blur only the background over right there so i'll just reduce the blurness over there uh, maybe just like this five then I'll click OK then I'll deselect it and if you want to make it realistic or oh, you see how it has done this is just a quick this thing so the, what I need to do is to come and check on over here then I'll pick a tool called here blade tool over here then the strength I'll make it 100 and then I'll choose my a brush to the soft one just like that and then I'll start blurring over here okay I'll start blurring over here so that it won't look so distant I just want to have some kind of blur image around the distance you get that yes so that is how I'm just going to blur around it so that I'll have it uh, I'll have that particular area that has not been bled to be covered yes and then I'll just make it this way and for the tutorial sake let's just have it like this and we can move to the next stage okay so the next thing I have to do is that I have to come up with this shape like this okay this particular shape so right now what i need to do is to come over to my rectangular market tool over here and pick a rectangular market tool over here then i'll just draw something like this you get that so over there i'll just leave it black like this okay then i'll press ctrl t to what to transform then i'll right click on the shape and come to warp like this okay so what i need to do over here is that i'll come and hold this place and then i'll hold it down like this 
okay and then over there i'll hold it on top like that you get that yes then i'll click okay so this is fair shape so what i need to do over here is to let this one come over here just like this then i'll duplicate it by ctrl g and then i'll let that one to come over here you get that so over there i'll press ctrl t and then i'll right click and flip it horizontally then i'll have something like this over there you get that so what i need to do is to push it in so that i'll have some shape over there so that the shape will look so distant so right now i'll hold the two this thing over there and just do what and just transform it in just like this and then let me just move it up i'll just transform it like that yes so see it has go this way go this way yes so when you check on the distance you can also have it like this by transforming it back just like this and then you can have it like that yes so that is what i have to do so over here i'll just right click over there and then convert it to smart object like that you get that yes so let me just make it transform it like this so that we'll have it so realistic yes so the next thing i have to do is to add a, a gradient color to it by going to fx and come to gradient map over there and then i will look for that kind of uh, blurring this thing over there and just add it there so i'll click on there i'll click on it and then the blend move i'll just make it normal and i can have it like this okay so the next thing i have to do is to start changing the distance so i'll just use the background colors just like this over there and then over here too i'll look for another color that looks so similar to that particular distance then we just use it okay yes so for the tutorial sake i just want us to have uh, some kind of blurring mode so i'll just come and copy it, that particular blurring mode over there then i'll just do what i'll just paste it in then i'll have something like this over there so the next thing i have to do is to press ctrl j to to to, to what to duplicate it and then the down layer i'll move it on top and then over there i'll just change the color to what to yellow to yellow over there just like that okay then i'll have something like this over there yes and you see that so what i need to do over there again is to just reduce the yellow just to reduce the opacity over there to make it to 66 it will be okay for me so the next thing i have to do is that i have to to come up with this particular two designs over there so in this particular two designs over there what i really do over there is that when i'm using uh, illustrator i'll be able to get that one to very beautiful but because I don't have illustrator over here what i need to do is to use photoshop to do that and i have to combine two different shapes to get that particular distance so what i need to do is to come and pick a tool over here called ellipse card tool then i'll just draw i'll just draw something over there just like this okay and then i'll have it like this you get that so the next thing i have to do is to come back to the rectangular market tool then i'll come and choose custom shapes and then i'll come and check on i'll come and pick this love tool over there and then i'll just draw another love tool over there like that okay and the next thing i have to do is to just make it so that it will go in inside the distance to have that particular shape i wanted over there so let's see how we can get it done okay yes so let's see we'll move it in and in now and then we'll just have some kind of shape over there as how we want it to be okay and this one should come on top and we just have to have the same shape that we have over there. Yes. So let's see how we can. 
fingers. So you see that gradually we are getting to the same shape that we want. You just have to take your time and make it how you want it to look so realistic to you. So we have this shape like that. So the next thing I have to do is to group, is to uh, select all, and then I'll convert that one to, to smart object. And then over there, it's use this particular color. Then I'll just come and change the color over there. And then I'll have this particular color over there. So what I need to do over here is to delete this one away. And then I'll have this color over there, just like that. Okay. And the next thing I have to do is to just tilt it this way. Tilt it this way. Then I'll have it something like this over there. So the next thing I have to do is to duplicate it by con pressing Ctrl G. And let the duplicate go on top. And then that one. I'll just reduce the, 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 the I'll just reduce the size. Sorry, I'll just reduce the size to down just like that. Okay, then I'll have it like this, and then that one to I'll tilt it on how I want that one to to be just like this. Yes, and then over here. I'll tilt it once again, just like this, and then I will just have it like that over there. And then this one should go on top, should, should go down, just like this. Okay, yes. So that is how I made these two shapes over there. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is to write on this one this. It should be date then that one should be here and then date is what Saturday 6th August so I'll come over here and write the Saturday just like this okay and then over there I'll reduce the size maybe to 6 over here from now and then I'll come up with the date 06 and then see if just like that and that one i'll make it bigger yes so that that one can stand just like that let me reference okay so over there the th i'll make it go top by clicking over right here so that that one will go on top and then i'll just make the distance boot just like that and then the next thing i have to do is to write the august august over there uh, 2022 just like that and then I'll have it like this and then I'll reduce the size to 11 over there and I'll have it just like this okay yes so uh, let me just save my work and then let's see so this place too I'll just make a semi bold so that it will be enough for people to see and understand what I'm really doing okay then I'll have something like this over there yes then i'll have something like this so this one and this one has just finished like that okay so that's the bit it has just finished so the next thing i have to do is to just copy all this information over there and just come and paste it on the this thing you get that so i'll paste i'll copy all this and you see i'll just pick all so that our tutorial will not be too long then i'll have it like this okay so over here let me analyze it and you get something this font is poppies and then this one is uh, uh, uh heat green this one is heat green and this is poppies and this is poppies and uh, this one is uh, advertising script and this is poppins so when you check on all the font it's only three font i use in this particular design yes and that is how i do this particular design i like this you get that yes so that is how naming ceremony flyer has been designed and you can decide to change the color of the listing on how you want it to, 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 to. you can also change it to like this 
it will be beautiful and you can change it like this it will be beautiful but for this tutorial sake i make it so that it will look uh it will look uh, familiar with the background so that i use the same background colors to have the background over here just like that so that is how i design this name is money flyer yes for a, a boss uh, i know yes thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics have a nice day may allah bless us and watch out for the new tutorial if you are new to this channel kind of subscribe and like and share my video to your friends and if you are already a subscriber thank you very much for coming back thank you very much and may allah bless us all in this particular month have a nice day bye